Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we can differentiate expressions of the form 2 to the power x, 5 times 3 to the power x, or even 4 to the power 3x squared. And to do this we need to know a basic formula so that we can cut the methods down. Let's just suppose we had something like y equals a constant, let's call it a, to the power x. And what I want to do is derive a formula then for differentiating with respect to x a function like this. So how do we do it? Well, what we do is we take the natural log to both sides. So we'd therefore have the natural log of y equals the natural log of a to the power x. And then we can use the power rule for logs. Remember, you can take your power out to the front. So this is going to be the natural log of y equals x times the natural log of a. Now we can differentiate this with respect to x. So I'll just put here for short diff with respect to x. Now this is an implicit function, it doesn't start y equals, so we've got to differentiate this implicitly. If you're not sure about implicit functions, just look on the website for implicit functions in differentiation, okay? And you should find tutorials on that. But assuming then that you're familiar with that, what we do is we differentiate the natural log of y with respect to y, and that will be 1 over y, but we have to remember to write dy by dx behind it, okay? This is implicit differentiation. Now when it comes on to differentiating this side here, I get so many people who want to differentiate the natural log of a and say it's 1 over a. It's not. Remember, a is a constant. So that means the natural log of a constant will also be a constant. So it's like saying differentiate 2x or 5x or pi x, something like that, say. And what it would leave you with is just that constant. Differential of 2x is 2. Differential of 5x is 5. So the differential of x times the natural log of a just leaves you with that constant the natural log of a. Alright? So, dy by dx is going to equal y times the natural log of a if we multiply both sides by the y. But what is y? Well, it's a to the x. So, therefore, we have the differential with respect to x is equal to a to the power x natural log of a. And this is a result then that you ought to try and remember. Otherwise, if you don't, what's going to happen is that you're going to have to work from first principles when it comes to differentiating these things. Okay? So, let's see. You might like to try these yourself now, actually, now that we've got the formula here for differentiating functions like this. OK, well, if you did have a go at these, let's see how you got on. Well, in this first one, it's very basic. It's exactly the same as this. The a, the constant, is clearly the 2. So therefore, what we get through the formula here is that dy by dx is going to be equal to a to the power x natural log of a. So a is the 2, so we just get 2 to the power x natural log of that 2. So very straightforward. Now, I picked this example just so that we had a number in front of our a to the power x. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that this is 15 to the power x. It's just going to be, when it comes to differentiating it, five times the result of differentiating 3 to the power x. So it's going to be five times, or we'll just put a bracket here, 3 to the power x then multiplied by the natural log of 3. And there's nothing we can do really to tidy this up. 
So I'd leave it like that. For number three, I picked this one because you can see that here I haven't just got something x, okay? I have got haven't got four to the power x, but we've got a composite function here, three x squared. So how do I do this? Well, we've got to use the chain rule. I've got to think of this as four to the power t. So in other words, I've got y equals 4 to the power t, where t equals 3x squared. So using the chain rule, remember that dy by dx is equal to dy by dt times dt by dx. OK, so if we just border that off there, then when it comes to differentiating this, dy by dt, if y equals 4 to the t, is going to give us, OK, let's just put dy dx there first though, dy dt is going to be 4 to the power t, then multiplied by the natural log of 4. Then I've got to multiply it by dt dx, the differential of t with respect to x, which is going to be 6x. So I just don't want to write 6x there. I want to put all of these things in brackets. So I'm going to bracket that off and bracket that off there. OK. Now I have 4 to the t here. That just needs to be changed. t, remember, was the 3x squared. So I've got 4 to the power 3x squared. I've got a 6x. Let's put the 6x there. I could put the 6 at the front here if I wanted to. And then I've got, that's multiplied by the natural log of 4. OK, well I hope that's given you some idea then how we can differentiate functions like these, OK, through using this particular method.